this fellow said, uh, in view of the uh, in view of the, the increasing attacks that Mr. Hoover is coming under, do you think he will now uh, resign? And I said, no, it's going to have exactly the opposite effect. I said, he hasn't even discussed resignation with me. And I said, uh, certainly when he's being under vision. Well, I wanted to try it out. Oh, okay. It's pretty fucking cool. Well, it's all the... Uh it's a pretty cool effect. Your effects and processors have got stacked on that thing back there. Okay, explain to the camera what we're doing here. What are we doing? Said me him her. We're making this. We're making this. Said me him her. The perfect, 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 the perfect, the perfect. The perfect practice space. And in order to do that, as you see, we've already cleared out quite a bit, freeing up the middle of the room. Uh, and once we're done, this table will be against the wall. Rick's drums will be here, and it'll be as if our audience, which, as Philip pointed out, we're going to use mirrors uh, to help us get our stage moves right. Or what looks right and feels right. Um, but that wasn't what I was going to talk about. Tape is rolling, so there's no problem. So, we had a pivotal moment and surprised the crap out of me. And tonight we had one. We're wor working on Victims of the Night. And we tried several arrangements with uh, bass and keyboards and acoustic guitar and then we switched me to guitar and I wasn't finding the solo that Ken wanted and he said two words to me he said Eric Clapton and when he said that it clicked it was like I was on a flume ride and sitting at the top teetering and going well, well where is this supposed to go and all of a sudden I went, oh, it goes this way. <laughs> so that was a wonderful breakthrough. Um, the fact that he told me that he doesn't want, he's not a rock guy. He's a rock and roll guy. And there's a big distinction musically because the Stones, the Beatles, uh, Led Zeppelin. What was the song we were doing that? really felt like a Zeppelin song tonight. Oh, Give Me Love. It has this just... And I was playing chords and that wasn't working because he's playing chords. So he came up with a solo, an idea for me to use a solo line rather than being chordal because he had that taken care of. Um, so I just came up with a three note part and it ain't jazz, it ain't fusion, but it's exactly what's required for rock and roll. And the fact that he wants this to be about rock and roll it just opens it wide open. And I really think that with the four individuals we have, um, nothing but good can come of this because we're all four completely different individuals that are on the same page and I've been playing since I was 19 I'm 46 and I've never been in a band that in 10 days has accomplished what we have um, onward and upward baby onward <laughs> and upward This is a relatively minor operation, which is just to forestall an offensive later on. Funny, funny, funny. See, that's the whole part that, in, and they try to blow it up as if they're going to be a major U.S. attack on Laos again, you know, and that, uh, that's the problem is that, and we get senators with say, oh, what are we going to do, and they try to get a resolution passed, and, yeah. and you right. see, we, we want to avoid the situation where they pass a resolution saying we cannot participate in another attack on Laos. See, I point Henry, it's, here, it's no longer relevant. <laughs> Because they will pass such a resolution, and just as sure as hell. I'm, uh, I, I was absolutely outraged, Mr. President. My name. My name. My name. My name.
He may have grew up on it or not. I want to show my cousin's head and then I have been a little bit of a fan. I can see it off my knees and I was just missing out. I can't miss an hour. I can't miss an hour.